Awesome. What am I supposed to do? Go to the backyard for something, right? Hey, Raji, want to come along to drama club rehearsals? But we don't have anything big or strong enough to move the lights. Did I read that right? We don't have anyone big or strong enough to move the lights. Not even Mad Dog can do it. You're trying to say I'm stronger than Mad Dog? This seems like some kind of trick. Okay, okay. Uh, the truth is, Mad Dog needs you at drama club. Your absence is really demonstrating a lack of support. But I don't support him. I think he's an idiot for getting involved. I think everyone at the drama club are idiots, including you. No offense. What the fuck is wrong with you, Raji? Uh, none taken. Uh, think of it this way, Raji. Uh, Mad Dog's proud of his work and values your opinion. Even if you hate musicals, you can still give him helpful feedback about his performance. Who knows? You attending this rehearsal could make or break his opening night. Oh god, please don't tell me you're gonna ruin his opening night. Not buying it. You two are up to something. If Mad Dog wanted me there, he would have asked. Convince Raji to support Mad Dog at Drama Club. He needs you, Raji. I'm so excited. I just got my hair cut and dyed. Good friends help each other. And just, ugh. Musicals can be manly. They absolutely can. You might even like it. I think you would. Act innocent. But yeah, I just got my hair cut and dyed. I'm so excited and happy about it. I'm just... I don't know. It was really, really weird. Like, I swear. So over here, I feel like I might be wrong. This might be just based off of my observations only. But I feel like here, whenever you have like a hair appointment or anything else appointment, they schedule you in like, maybe it's just a person thing that like people who actually give a shit about their appearance, like do on a regular basis. They schedule it like they do dental appointments. Like, okay, in like a month and a half, I'll be right here. I don't know. It's, it's, it's not something that I normally do. I think it's people who actually give a shit about their appearance. They actually do it on a regular basis. And I feel like I need to do that more often. Because everywhere was full. It was one place only that was like, it, they just happened to have a canceling or something like that. And I was just like, yes, get me in there. I guess it can't hurt for me to go watch Mad Dog's performance once. If only so I can laugh at him. Raji leaves. Oh, this is sad. I hope he doesn't make fun of him. He doesn't deserve that. Yeah, that was close. For a second there, I thought he wasn't going to leave. I can't believe we're actually about to do this. Time to start digging. This is so dumb. Why wouldn't you just tell the cops that there's a skeleton there? Anyone except for Officer Sage. Oh, sweet. Level up my reputation. Just what I need right before I dig up someone. No, but seriously. I'm pretty... Oh, eight hours... I'm pretty sure they're going to start asking questions about, um, how did you know that this was here? Like, because what are we going to do? Just remove the body and, like, cover her back up with vetch? I, I just don't know. I just don't know. This doesn't seem right to me. This does not seem right to me at all. Doesn't matter what I got, really. Okay, well, this is in eight hours. And we can't do it now. How much would it be to, like, oh, fuck no. Absolutely not. Let's just go work instead. I got eight hours. Might as well make money out of it. Make money so I can afford clothes for all these random little projects that I'm doing. Okay, so I have to go to Bree's house again. Um, this will be at the cinema. And this will be in my office. Okay, we'll go to the cinema last because that actually looks like it's going to take up some time. Like, it looks like it was going to take eight hours, which is, like, n nonsense. Absolute BS nonsense. Cool. But yeah, I'm really happy that I got it cut and dyed. It was expensive as hell, though, too. Like, I think I just, like, oh, whoops, I should probably click do it. I think it was like the most expensive place that I found, but again, I'm just, I'm just freaking happy that I got it done. I never ever, like, I just looked in the mirror today and I was just like, I can't, I need to get it dyed. Like, I cannot, like, my hair can't go keep on being like this. I'm not even, like, that big of, like, a looks person. Like, I wish I gave more of a shit about my looks, but I feel like I've just given up overall. Oh, Bree's house, that's right. I think overall I've just given up on my looks. And 
which is really sad to say, but it's, I don't want to say true, like, but I think it's true. I think just over time, I've just given up on my looks. Like, I'll still put makeup on and stuff, but, like, honestly, like, I don't, like, do makeup the way that, like, others can and do. Like, I don't, um, fuck, I know the word for it, but it's just not coming to mind. But, like, I just put on, like, you know, foundation by itself and then powder and then blush and that's it. Like, that's all I do. Contouring? I think that's what people normally do. I don't know, but like I just I don't do makeup in the way that is flattering to my face. I'm pretty sure I don't even have the right skin tone. Like Oh, it'll take eight hours for the results to come. Okay, that makes more sense. Not the results, for the payment to come. I was gonna say like an eight hour job, Jesus. But yeah, um, and then something about today, I just looked in the mirror and I was just like, dude, I just, I, I can't handle my, like, hair looking like this anymore. It needs to change. I need to get it cut and dyed. And I did. And I could not be happier with the results. Even if it cost me a shit ton of money, I'm just happy that I have it done. Like, I already feel loads better. I really should, like, apply myself more. But, like, I don't know. It, it takes so much money to maintain your level of prettiness that you want 17 diamonds okay so it won't be done for eight hours which is great because that's how long it'll take for us to be able to exhume the body sweet let's collect payment Awesome, and now what do we do? Did you get the skeleton in Jimmy's backyard? Yes, as, as one normally does. I'm really excited I'm going to the dermatologist today. I know that's probably not something that someone would get excited over, but um... Great, here comes the others. Wait, what is Gabby wearing? Gabby and Bree sneak over. What the hell, Gabby? Hey, ladies, let's get down to business. I just adore your exclam exclamation outfit, Gabby. You look so cute. I know. I got it on our last trip to Aspen. I turned a lot of heads on the slopes. I think Gabby looks ridiculous. What if we get caught? We can hardly say we're doing yard work. I didn't want to risk touching my skeleton, any skeleton bits. Come on, I'm boiling. Let's dig up the dead dude. Don't be hasty. We have to be extremely careful digging up and replanting the veggie garden. We can't leave any trace. We get in, get the bones, replace the soil, and then get out of here ASAP. ASAP. She wouldn't say ASAP. Cool. So, why am I so excited about the dermatologist? So... Hopefully, I'm really, really hoping that my problems will be solved. So, as a teenager, I never really had bad acne. I had, like, you know, a normal amount. Like, a pimple pop up every once in a while or, like, you know, like an, an area stress out. And then, somehow, when I hit my 20s... I don't know if it's because I gained a little bit of weight, I don't know if it's because I started eating lots of pasta, or if I, you know, because I, I, I don't know. Either way, I started breaking out like crazy, and since then, it has not gone away. There hasn't been a single day for like eight years where I didn't have acne covering my face. And um, I'm going to a dermatologist here because for some weird fucking reason, they're unable to do this in the United States no matter how many times I've begged, pleaded, and cried. Here, they actually, like, take blood from you, from what I hear. We'll see what happens. They actually, like, take blood from you because there's a chance that maybe there's some kind of allergic reaction to some kind of food that I'm eating and it's coming out on my face. <laughs> that sounded dirty. 
or there I, I might have some kind of infection in my body, which I'll need antibiotics for, and that'll clear up my face. So it'll all be determined today, really. I mean, not all of it. I'm pretty sure I have to set up a separate meeting to, like, have a blood drawn thing happen. Anyway, nice work, ladies. The veggie patch looks perfectly pristine. Let's grab these bones out of here. Let's get these bones out of here. Be careful with the bags. These bones are a lot heavier than I expected. This is a horrible idea. We're just gonna go to the police and be like, here's a bunch of bones we found. This is just not the proper way to go about it, I feel. Hi, Lynette. Hey, what's taking so long? Feels like I've been waiting out here for hours. We're on our way. Meet you out in the front of the house. But yeah, I'm really, really hoping now that I'll be on my way to having my acne problem solved. I'm like... <sighs> Normally, I try not to um, expect anything in fear of being let down. But I just want one day where I can look at my face and it's clear. I have not had a clear face since I think I was like 18 or 19. And even then, keep in mind, I still had like every once in a while something come up. But I haven't had a clear face in so long. And I'm just, I would love a day where I can look in the mirror and actually like the face that's looking back at me. I don't mean to sound depressing, it's just been really, really difficult to live like that. Mission successful. So where are we putting this guy? Gabby's bag breaks and the bones scatter everywhere. Oh, fuck. No, 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 they're everywhere. Is that a toe? We're totally exposed. We need to pick those up now. Gabby, we need to make use of your pockets. Are you crazy? This is a very expensive ski suit. The whole point was to protect myself from human bones. I don't care. We're filling your fancy pockets right now or we're all dead meat. If Raji and Mad Dog come home and find us, then we might be the ones fertilizing the veggie garden. Collect all the skeleton bones. I'm just... Skull fragments? God damn it. So she just like literally like shattered them everywhere. Yeah, I hope I didn't get too negative. But it's just... Honestly, and I'm, you know, I, I, I feel horrible if I made you guys feel uncomfortable, but I've been feeling uncomfortable for the past 10 years. And I just really, really hope something happens. Are we sure we picked up all the bones? If we left anything behind, it could mean big trouble later. We've got them. Come on, it's time to skedaddle. Seriously, what are you guys going to do with the bones? I don't understand. Just hand them into the police like, oh, we found this. They'll probably be like, well, why didn't you direct us to the place where you found it? Let's reassemble the skeleton at my house. Come on. Are you sure Rex won't mind us bringing a dead body to your place? There's already a lot of friction between us. I hardly imagine this will make things worse. I, On the contrary, I feel like it'll make things a lot worse. Whatever. And in the garage, his sacred place. Excellent. Hmm, I'm pretty sure that long one is a leg bone. I'm no expert, but don't legs have more than one bone? She never implied it was the only one. We'll put it here. No, 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 this is all wrong. His rib cage is upside down. I did it how I thought it should look. You don't like it, you build it then. Human puzzle. Dust skull. We'll see what happens. I really, really, really hope they find something. That's not normally something that I would say, but like, something's gotta give. Like, if I have to give up pasta or like carbohydrates, like, that'll be really, really difficult. But honestly, like, it'll be worth it if I just can have a clear face. This is helpless. I'm making myself a cocktail. As much as I hate to agree, she's right. We aren't making much progress here. 
We need to organize our roles. Break this down into tasks. I appoint myself project manager. I don't think that's going to help without someone who has an actual background in medicine. So what are we going to like call Rex over here? We need a science whiz. I'm convinced Julie's capable, but I don't want to traumatize her. Who else do we know with a medical background that could keep a secret? Bree? Know anyone? Okay, okay. We'll ask Rex. He's not going to like it, but frankly, I don't care. Awesome. So I guess we're going to the hospital now? I keep forgetting where the hospital is. That's the only problem. There we go. Hi, Rex. <laughs> Darling, are you here to drop off another passive-aggressive note criticizing the way I rinse dishes? Darling, I only write notes when you don't listen to the instructions I give you verbally. Bree, when I told you to be more direct with your communication, I didn't mean leaving grumpy notes for your husband. Is there anything you want? You can't just drop by unexpectedly. We need your expertise. I need you to do an autopsy of the skeleton we found in Jimmy's backyard. The what? You, you found a what in Jimmy's backyard? I told you at breakfast this morning. Oh, you are so rude. You never listened to me. You nodded and pretended you were listening. We need confirmation that this person is who we think it is. We also want to work out how they died. We believe they died 40 years ago, so it's going to be a challenge. Wait, you actually dug up a body? Oh, jeez, you did. Where is it? Don't get mad, but the skeleton's in your garage. Uh, just hear us out. Poor Rex, honestly. I feel so bad for him. You're good with bones. You're not good with giving a bone, apparently. Sorry. <laughs> um, no, but I feel really bad for him, because apparently Brie was very different when they were dating. And then she all, all of a sudden turned into this, like, super duper mega wife and housekeeper and mother to the point where like no mistakes can be made okay fine i'll do the autopsy for you i'll figure out if the body matches the missing person ray and i'll see if i can figure out how they died how wonderful thank you so much darling my only request is that the autopsy is conducted in our living room that's weird why that room is immaculate. Wouldn't your garage be a more appropriate place? That's my offer. We do it in the living room or no autopsy. It's fine, Rex. We'll do the autopsy in the living room. Come on, let's go. Honestly, Bree, you'll just clean later. Like, nothing can stay clean forever. For fuck's sake, dude. The room is immaculate. Well... Clean it again. I don't know what to tell you. Like, obviously, like, when you ask people to help you, they don't help you in, quote-unquote, the proper way. So you're the only one capable. It's so hard to, like, breathe sometimes. It really is. Like, she actually has, like, the most growth, I think, out of all the characters. Actually, no, Gabby grows a lot, too, as a person. But she has, like, the one of the most... She's one of the few people in the show who actually grows the most as a person but um still she's impossible to like sometimes i can't believe this is happening my beloved living room is not for hosting a decomposed body <laughs> i love the skeleton just chilling there calm down breathe there's no risk of fluids being spilled our friend here is just an old skeleton stop smirking i can see how much you're enjoying my discomfort good you've been making him uncomfortable for years Calm down, you two. Rex, get to work, buddy. We want to know if this is our missing guy. All right. Hopefully we can get this done on time. Dude, Gabby, I think you can change out of that outfit now. Like, we're no longer exhuming the skeleton. The bones are in great shape, apparently. Well, that's good, I think. He had, what? Dental fillings. Shit, I can't see tooth decay. Fuck. That's no bueno. 
Walked with a limp. It's amazing to me that they know this stuff. Arms equal length. No bone disease. Judging by the height, we can safely assume this is Ray. Uh, the next step is to determine the cause of death. But first, I need to make an apology. Bree, I'm so sorry we, for insisting we do this gruesome task in here. I know how hard you worked on decorating it and also sorry about the dirty dishes. It won't happen again. Apology accepted. Darling, did you notice that a very small bone from his hand is missing? Huh? Oh, you're right. Our existential... Our existentially? Wait. Our existentially? I don't know. Ch our existentially challenged friend here is missing a finger bone. You look worried, Nostalgia. What do you think happened to it? It was gangsters. I've seen gangster films. Maybe someone cut off the end of his finger... Wait, maybe someone cut the end of his finger off when he was still alive. That's not a bad idea, from a purely hypothetical disciplinary perspective, I mean. Whatever happened to the missing finger bone, we don't have it here. So, what do you think is the cause of death, Rex? I am declaring the cause of death to be a gunshot wound to the crown of the individual skull. Before he was buried in Jimmy's backyard, this poor guy was murdered. Please tell me we earned a clue from this. Yes. Oh, poor guy. Head wound. I just love the way he's chilling on the sofa. I noticed a hole in the skull, but I thought I damaged it when we were digging up the body. And maybe we really do all need our eyes checked. Our eyes are fine. Mine are anyway. That hole's just smaller than I thought a bullet hole would be. Bree, we need your firearm expertise. Do you know what caliber a bullet would make that hole a hole of that size? Wow! Bree, we need your firearm expertise. Do you know what caliber of bullet would make a hole that small? Well, Bree and Rex are certainly getting along better. All they needed to get their marriage back on track was a disowned human skull. That's not uncommonly small for a bullet wound. Look at the exit hole. It's much larger. Let me see. Oh, well, we don't have enough time for that, unfortunately. A gunshot wound was found in the skull of the body found in Jimmy's backyard. The likely cause of death was being shot. Nice. Examine the bullet wound. Bullet bits. I know I've said this before. I love this skeleton just chilling there. So I went to the dermatologist and oh my god, dude. I'm so glad they've already got stuff all planned for me. Like, I mean, it's going to be a journey, but like, I already have an appointment to go in tomorrow to get a blood test done. Um, they also want me to get my tonsils checked because I still have my tonsils. And I actually, I don't know if you guys like, sorry if this is too much information, but any of you out there, I do actually have this thing called tonsillots. Basically, they're like calcified, like, debris like whether it's just like food particles or like you know spit or whatever it basically it's calcified and they are they're tonsil stones basically and they get lodged inside of my tonsils so i never figured for a second that that might be a problem it might be so i need to get that checked by a doctor as well they're getting blood drawn tomorrow or i'm getting my blood drawn tomorrow so we're gonna figure out if maybe it's a hormone issue but yeah, and in the meantime, they gave me topical things. See, this is a thing that I freaking love. I've been to a dermatologist over in the States twice. I've been to a doctor multiple times so that they could refer me to a dermatologist, but I've been to a dermatologist so many times and they don't even look at my fucking face. I freaking like at some point finally like cried to them saying like, dude, I'm 30. Like, this should not be happening. I haven't had a clear face in 10 years. And they barely even look at my face. And they're just like, oh, use this cream and see what happens. And then this one other time, they, like, prescribed me some kind of medication that's used to lower blood pressure. But women have reported that it clears their acne up. And, like, without even looking at my face. And here already, they're just like, um, no, we're not giving you any type of medication. Like... 
like actual t pills to take unless we know what's going on with your blood work. Like, I just, I love it. This is what I've been waiting for. Like, I'm so relieved. Like, we'll see what happens and I'll keep you guys updated if you're interested. Even if you're not, what are you going to do? You can't tell me anything. <laughs> see, type into like the comments, like, please stop telling us about your face. The question, oh, this is me. The question remains, if Ray was murdered, then who pulled the trigger? It was my father. How much you want to bet? As you should recall from our gun safety lessons together, Nostalgia, one never pulls the trigger. One always squeezes the trigger. As for the caliber of the bullet, it is a forty-five. so the murderer was either a mobster or very, very scared. Scared? H how do you figure that? You would only carry a forty-five if you thought someone was coming after you. It's a big gun. Forty-fives have great stopping power. One shot will stop someone dead in their tracks. Carlos always tries to talk me into letting him buy one. Calls it a hand cannon. To add to that, with an exit wound like this size, you wouldn't even need to hit a vital organ. Oh, Bree and Rex, you guys are such a cute couple. What a team. Well, you wouldn't know that we've actually been at each other's throats recently. Oh my god, Bree, what the fuck is your problem? Darling, I really feel like we're on the same page right now. Oh, never mind, this isn't a thing. Darling, I really feel like we're on the same page right now. Man, I missed you, honey. Me too. I feel like we have a lot to catch... We have a lot to catching up to do. Ladies, would you mind excusing us? Yes, go bang upstairs. I can't believe an autopsy and talk of guns has gotten these two in the mood. Yes, of course. Uh, thanks for hosting the autopsy, guys. It's been swell. <laughs> it's been swell. What an autopsy party. But yeah, I'm just so friggin' stoked that this is actually gonna go well for me. I'm so excited. Or at least, like, they're working on it like there's still a lot to do but there's at least a plan set in motion and not here's a friggin antibiotic or here's blood pressure medication Bree has determined that the skeleton's gunshot wound was caused by a 45 I'm sure I said that wrong oh no why did mad dog just show up should I be scared? Oh. So now we know why Ray was missing. He was shot and buried in an unmarked grave. According to bullet size, whoever shot him was either a mobster or a scared person. I'm sure it was my dad. Suddenly the door burst open. Oh no. Oh no. Did you see someone poking around in our front yard? What? No, of course not. I haven't seen anyone out there all day. You sure none of you have seen anything suspicious? No one loitering, mean mugging, or acting a fool? Raji, Mad Dog, you guys seem really shaken up. What the heck is going on? Deal with the flustered thugs. What the hell is their problem? Did we actually leave a finger bone? Or something like weird going on? Like, who are they scared by? It's nice that they come to us, though. But, like, I doubt this has anything to do with the bones that we dug up. I never thought I'd say that in my life. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. What a game. Is someone bothering you? Come on, you can tell us. You guys need to be more specific about what the problem is. Fess up. Okay, we had an alarming incident in involving our front yard. Don't tell him there was an incident, man. That's giving away classified secrets. Shut up, Raji. I'll do the talking. You just stand there and look pretty, okay? I can confirm that it's just been like any other ordinary day. We have reason to believe our lives are in danger. If you see anything suspicious, call us. Oh. Raji and Mad Dog leave. Shit. I've never seen those knuckleheads look scared before. What's going on? What the hell is going on? What are they scared about? What? 
We've just dug up a body in their backyard and now they're freaking out about something. I'm going to head over there now and see if I can find out what's up. Call me a concerned neighbor. I'd like to think that they actually do have a small little fondness for Raji and Mad Dog, especially now that they're in a musical. Well, Mad Dog is. So, guys, what's wrong? Come on, we're neighbors. Talk to me. Don't say a word, Mad Dog. If we tell her about the human bone we found out front, she may run to the cops. Fuck. Oh, darn. Sorry, that just slipped out. That's where the missing finger bone went. It must have rolled out of sight when Gabby's bag ripped. Fuck. God damn it. Gabby, for heaven's sake. What are we even going to do with this skeleton? Like, what What can you do, really? Like, is Rex just going to, like, bring it in and be like, Hey, look what I found. Like, I'm pretty sure the cops are going to be like, Oh, hey, this is a missing person we've been looking for. What the hell? Is there a reason why you guys are so worried? I was under the impression you'd seen a lot worse than a human finger bone. We think it's an enemy sending us a warning. That's why we need to know if you've seen anyone around. Let's not jump to conclusions, guys. Maybe it's not so sinister. Let's think of alternate reasons. Alternative reasons. We're all ears. What's your alternative theory to why a bone found its way on into our front lawn? It's mine. Wait, it could be mine. That's my lucky charm. It was my grandmother's. Literally, it was my grandmother's finger. They gave it to me after she died. <laughs> what? What kind of bullshit is that? My family has always been pretty eccentric. Darn, Raji. I thought you were a nut job. Oh, oh my god. I like that they are they actually accepting this. <laughs> like, do they really believe this nonsense? Okay, so can we go ahead and like reassemble this to like the <laughs> the skeleton now? This is so weird. Shocking news about Ray. I thought about your next move, Nostalgia. And knowing that my dad and uncle's missing partner was in fact murdered, the obvious move would be to confront them. I'll talk to Uncle Adam first. Try to catch him off guard. Your uncle already lied to you once. Don't let him do it again. Yes, ma'am. Guessing we're going to the courthouse again. Yep. I thought we agreed to stay out of each other's way. What is it this time? I know about Ray. Why didn't you tell me you had a partner who went missing? Well, it was a long time ago. We never found out what happened to him. It was a terrifying time. I imagine Ray fled to start a new life somewhere. He didn't flee. Ray was shot and buried in an unmarked grave in the house you owned 40 years ago. Keep your voice down. This is my workplace. Don't fucking lie to me then, dude. Like, goddamn. My family is a piece of shit, honestly. After everything's all worked out, I hope I never talk to my, like, dad and uncle ever again. They're whores. They're horrible people. For heaven's sake, cleaning up their messes is really exhausting. I'll tell you every last detail. I was there when Ray was shot, and I helped bury him in the backyard of my house. Oh, that's a different story than you were giving me. Oh, gosh. I'm actually getting the truth out of this guy. I still own the house. I rented out through a property management company. I never sold it because my friend was buried in the backyard. I couldn't risk him being found. As the landlord, I can make sure no one ever digs a pool or landscapes without my permission. Well, we did it anyway. I'm guessing it was the mob that shot Ray. I've admitted to burying my friend. As for the other details, you shouldn't hear those answers from me. It was my dad, dude. My dad 100% shot his business partner. 
I've told you enough for one day. I'm going away for a while, taking some much needed paid time off. Wait, for how long? Where are you going? Somewhere quiet and secluded until all this blows over. Best of luck. He's going to go to my dad's cabin, huh? Uncle Adam squeezes your shoulder, gives you a sorry look, and leaves. My family's literally the worst. He didn't want those answers to come from him? What does that mean? It means my dad shot him. My dad murdered someone. 100% murdered someone. Secret burial. Hi, Bree. Hope you had a nice old romp in the sack. Gosh, I feel like a new woman. I just had the most wonderful afternoon reconnecting with Rex. Who knew an autopsy would be the key to getting your love life back on track? I'm so glad the two of you are back in sync. It was about time. Exactly. Now, would you be so kind as to collect a skeleton, please? I don't want to startle the children. Oh, gosh, yes. I almost forgot it was still over there. I'll come by now. How could you forget the skeleton? Uncle Adam has confessed to burying the body he found in Jimmy's backyard. He won't reveal the full details. So, what did your uncle say when you confronted him? Believe it or not, Uncle Adam admitted to burying Ray, but he didn't confirm who shot him. I asked if it was the mob, but he said I shouldn't hear it from him. It's driving me crazy. Don't despair. You're getting closer to the truth every day. You'll find out. Gossip with Bree while gathering Ray's bones. Eh, you know what? Let's see if we can make it happen. Might as well, right? Worst case scenario, I'll just wander around Wisteria Lane and collect energy. <sighs> yep, I'll have to go collect energy. Alright, let's go walk around. Let's go here. Oh my god, I hate when I dye my hair. <laughs> my head gets so itchy afterwards. It's, it's so annoying. Seasons, winter. Awesome, thanks for the energy. Yas. Cool. Okay, and let's move it along. Bartending. Cool. Well, we can go back to Bree's house. I'm pretty sure, like, you know what? That won't be enough, will it? All right, well, there we go. This should be enough now. Just in case we'll collect from here too. Cool. Now that, that should be enough. Even though like, watch the second I get inside, even though I have five energy that I just collected, it's like, oh, you got all, all, all you, it's all done. <laughs> I don't know how to talk. Cool. Okay. Never mind. Oh, maybe I don't have enough. Oh, no, I do. Thank goodness. Okay, let's get the rest of it in the bag. You ready? You pack up the skeleton. Do I have the finger too? I would hope I do. Thanks for letting us do the autopsy here. I know it wasn't easy for you, Bree. You can say that again. I'm going to be scrubbing this floor for the next century. I need to head off now and give old Ray up here a proper burial, and I know the perfect place. Cemetery? I would assume that's the proper place. Right? <laughs> Confront your dad at Widow's Valley Creek. I have a feeling I'm going to find Uncle Adam there and they're just like a reconnecting. Oh. Well, check that out.
can't do it just yet. Oh, well.